This video is going to be about the environmental effects on gene expression. So for most of the genes in our genomes, a genotype doesn't encode for one particular phenotype. Instead, what it really encodes for is this rough framework or this rough continuum of phenotypes that we can follow along depending on what our experiences are. So genes uh, that kind of function this way would be things like height or build or the color of our skin um, or intelligence because all of these things can be influenced by outside factors, right? So for height, uh, our nutrition affects how tall we're going to get. Our amount of exercise affects uh, the way our bodies look. Our um, exposure to sunlight is going to affect the color of our skin. So there's a lot of things besides our genotype going into uh, the way that these phenotypes actually show up. And so this isn't true for all genes in our bodies. So for example, our ABO um, blood groups, which we talked about in a previous video, are um, very distinct. So they don't really have uh, a continuum whatsoever because uh, we don't want to have uh, an adverse reaction in our bodies to um, something that's so important like our blood. But a lot of other genes do work in this way. So genes that are uh, influenced by our environment as well as by our genotypes are going to be called multifactorial because we have multiple factors that's going into what our final phenotype actually looks like. So just to wrap everything up, um, a lot of our genes code for more of a continuum of phenotypes rather than one particular phenotype, and then the experiences we have throughout our lives are really going to shape the way that that phenotype actually looks um, on each individual person. So this can even be different for people with the uh, exact same genotypes like identical twins. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.